Aotearoa Pono, true New Zealand history in a nutshell. Don't forget to press like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. Tupai, the great Tahitian navigator, was born at Ha'amanino Harbour on Raiatea. Wait, did I just say Raiatea? Like, as in Rangiatea? It is very much the same name. Many Aotearoa Māori say is the place of origin of their ancestors. Because it is the same place as Rangiatea, where Māori came from, before Aotearoa. Hence the proverb, he kākano ahau, I ruia mai i rangiatea. I am a seed sown in rangiatea. Māori Polynesian ancestors came from far across the sea, so proverbs like this one helped Māori to remember things, and yet they still lose their car keys. Anyway, back to the story. Tupaya, the great Tahitian navigator, was born at Ha'amanino Harbour on Raiatea around 1725 and became a leading Ari Ori priest for the Taputapu Atea Marae. Tupaya was trained in the Whare Aira'a Upu or schools of learning about the origins of the cosmos, genealogies, the calendar, proverbs and histories. He was also taught how to be a star navigator. His mesmerised knowledge included island lists, including their size, reef, harbour, locations, whether they were inhabited or not, and if so, the name of the chief and any food produced there. More importantly, his memory would include the bearing of each island, the time it took to get there, and the succession of stars and islands to follow to get there. These islands included the Society Islands, the Austral Islands, Cook Islands, Samoa, Tonga, Togelo, and Fiji. Bora Bora warriors invaded Raiatea around 1763, wounding Tupaya and forcing him to flee to Tahiti, where he sought protection from the Papara chief Amo and his wife Pūrea. Tupaya soon became their advisor and high priest. Tupaya befriended Samuel Wallace during the observation of a solar eclipse, and then Joseph Banks during the 1769 transit of Venus observed from Tahiti. Tupai was also an artist, and 10 watercolours of his survive, joining the endeavour. The captain refuses to take Tupai on his own account. In my opinion, sensibly enough, the government will never in all human probability take any notice of him. I therefore have resolved to take him. Tupai joined Endeavour in July 1769. When he was asked for details of the region, Tupai drew a chart showing all 130 islands within a 2,000 miles radius. Tupai accompanied Cook to New Zealand and was welcomed by some of the Māori as a tohunga, an expert. They presented him with a precious dogskin cloak, reserved only for highborn chiefs. Many Māori have tales including Tupai and his lineage that remains in New Zealand today. He often disappeared from camp for many a few days as he visited and conversed freely with the natives in their mother tongue. He was highly respected by local Māori and welcomed with love. Māori knew that he was kin and respected his knowledge. Cook said of Tupaya, by means of Tupaya you would always get people to direct you from island to island and would be sure of meeting with a friendly reception and refreshments at every island you came to by means of Tupaya. In November 1770, Tupaya died from either dysentery or malaria. When Cook returned to New Zealand in 1773, the Māori approached his ship shouting, Tupaya, Tupaya, as Cook noted. The name of Tupaya was at that time so popular among them that it would be no wonder if at this time it is known over the great part of New Zealand. When Māori learned of Tupaya's passing, they mourned his loss, as if he were their own. Tupaya, the great Polynesian navigator who led Cook to Aotearoa. Aotearoa Pono, true New Zealand history in a nutshell. Don't forget to press like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this one. And don't forget to put your comments below and any requests for future videos.